been quite a dramatic turn of events. Uh, Lee's now in critical condition. He's in hospital in a coma, and um, and Robert's looking at uh, potentially uh, you know a jail sentence or um, some kind of running with the police. And um, and yeah. It's not looking good for Robert. Yeah, he's gonna have to tell Aaron. Uh, well, Aaron seen, you know, uh, Lee on the floor and being taken away in the hospital, and, and has said to Robert, you know, say it was self-defence, and, uh, and and we'll deal with it from then. And uh, but obviously, I suppose there's kind of parallels between the Katie thing, um, you know, a few years back, and they kind of you know stood by each other to try and get out of trouble. Yeah, I mean, it will like like um, like Brian says. I think Aaron's always kind of got Robert's um, best interest at heart, and I don't think he's ever kind of looked at it in, in this situation anyway. Looked at it as being anything other than um, I don't at this moment in time when the police turn up, I don't really care what's happened as long as you don't leave me and go to whatever prison, whatever. So he sort of says to Robert, just say it was self-defence, and we'll deal with it from there. And and obviously Lee's in a coma, so he can't uh, confirm or deny the story. So. Um, it kind of works well at that moment and, um, and Aaron's just angry with, with what he's done after that and um, and I think it's because he's put it in jeopardy of, of what might happen with, say, you know, the, the, the surrogacy with Liv, with Aaron, with Seb, with Rebecca, obviously, and, um, and, and yeah, I think, I think he's more worried about what's going to happen uh, on the aftermath of it, uh, but in the moment in time he's, he's kind of stood by his side just to sort of say, right, you know. Since Aaron coming out of prison, all he's done is try to sort of keep them on the straight and narrow and, uh, you know, try to earn an honest living and, and try to bring a kid into the world, look after his own kid that he's, he had with a one night stand in an affair or whatever you want to call it. So he stood by that and he wanted to sort of be um, be there and be supportive of, of Robert and, and the family and stuff. So um, I think it'll, he knows that, you know, being in prison doesn't work and um, all he's ever tried to do since him coming out of prison is, is create that, that bond and that solid, solid uh, and it has, yeah, it's been kind of smooth sailing for a while for them, hasn't it? Relative, yeah. in relative yeah. terms, they've, uh, you know, they've been trying to get on with their surrogacy and, and, um, and you know, form a little family unit. And then now this has popped up at the, the worst possible time. Yeah, well, a huge thank you for everything, for all their support and for, for watching us and, and um, the fact that I've got to keep working with him and, and having a laugh, so yeah. Um. Definitely for me, yeah. I've just, <laughs> we just said it in there, I think, as well, in, in the other book. Yeah, that's the first time I've, it's, it's ever, I don't know, it seems a bit real that he just said that, like, thank yeah. you for the ride, and everything. but it's, yeah, I mean... I'll try and carry on the wrong side of it while he's gone. <laughs> uh, I'm sure he'll, so. yeah, he'll be, he'll be keeping people entertained. I'm sure for, for on the shelf for as long as he's here at least. And, um, and yeah, he's, he, you know, he, he's a great guy to watch. He's a great guy to work with. I love working with him, and I'm gonna miss him. Oh shit. <laughs>